In this video, we will learn how to use the nm connection editor command to create new connections and manage existing connections on Linux. nm connection editor is a GUI based application. To start this application, we use the nm connection editor command. We can use this command only on the desktop environment. To confirm it, let's switch to the CLI interface and use this command. As we can see here, the command is not running. It verifies that this command does not work on CLI and needs a GUI environment to run. Let's switch back to GUI. Network Manager provides the default network service. NM Connection Editor Utility is part of Network Manager. Network Manager manages all network devices and their settings. To manage settings, it offers three utilities. These utilities are NMCLI, NMTUI, and NM Connection Editor. The NMCLI utility uses the CLI interface. It works on all platforms. You can use it on SSH, terminal, and desktop. It supports all features of the network manager. The NMT UI usage is a curses based application. It works on the terminal and desktop. It supports all necessary features of the network manager. The NM connection editor usage is a GUI based application. It works only on the desktop. It is similar to the NMTUI utility but supports fewer features. Let's understand some important differences between NMTUI and NM Connection Editor. NMTUI is a curses based application. It does not need a GUI environment to run. You can use it on CLI and GUI. It supports all necessary features of Network Manager. You can use it to add new connections, manage existing connections, activate a connection, and change the host name. NM Connection Editor is a GTK based application. It needs a GUI environment to run. You can use it only on GUI. It supports only essential features of Network Manager. You can use it to add new connections and manage existing connections. You can't use it to activate a connection or change the host name. To add a new connection, click the Add button. The utility supports many types of network devices. You can create a connection for any supported device but can use the connection only if that device is available on the system. This system has an Ethernet card. Let's select Ethernet from the list and click Create. The next screen allows us to customize the connection. It has many options. Options are organized in tabs. Let's understand the options you need to know for RHCSA or RHCE exam. This is the connection name. Network Manager and other services will use this name to list and use this connection. On the General tab, we have two important options. These options are the Connect Automatically with Priority and all users may connect to this network. Let's understand these options in detail. You can create multiple connections for a device but can use only one connection at a time. If you select this option on All Connections, Network Manager will automatically pick and use the appropriate connection to connect the network. For example, suppose you use your laptop at the office and the home. Both places have Wi-Fi networks. In that case, you can create two connections, one for the home Wi-Fi network and another for the office Wi-Fi network. If you select this option on both connections, Network Manager will automatically select the appropriate connection based on your location. If you use the laptop at the home, it will use the connection you created for the home Wi-Fi network. 
or if you use the laptop at the office, it will use the connection you created for the office Wi-Fi network. If you have multiple Wi-Fi networks at the home or office, you can create multiple connections for that location. If you have multiple connections for a single location, you can use the priority option to decide the order in which network manager should use the connections. Network manager picks the connection with the highest priority. If the highest priority connection is not available, then it selects the second highest priority connection, and so on. In the lab environment, we don't need to configure this option. Uncheck this option. If you select this option, all users can use this connection to connect to the network. If you uncheck this option, only you can use this connection to connect the network. Keep this option selected. As I mentioned earlier, you can create a connection for any supported device but can use the connection only if that device exists on the system. We are creating a connection for an Ethernet device. We can use this connection only if we assign it to a physical Ethernet device. Select the Ethernet device from the drop-down. To use a connection to connect the network, we need to assign an IP configuration to it. Select the manual method. The manual method allows us to configure an IP address manually. If you want this connection to obtain an IP address from a DHCP server, select DHCP. Now, let's assign an IP configuration to it. We don't need to configure any other option. Let's save the connection. Network Manager saves all configurations of a connection in the connection configuration file. It saves all connection files in Network Scripts directory. It uses the if cfg suffix with the connection name to generate a name for the connection configuration file. To verify the settings you made, you can check the connection configuration file. To verify the connection, you can use the nmcli connection show command. As I mentioned earlier, a device can have multiple connections but can use only the active connection. You can set only one connection active at a time. NM connection editor does not have an option to activate the connection. You can use the NM connection editor only to create, manage, and delete a connection. To activate a connection, you can use the NMCLI command or NMTUI utility. Let's use the NMCLI command to activate the connection. After activating the connection, you can use the IP address show command to view the IP configuration of the interface. As we can see here, the interface is using the IP configuration from the new connection. To edit a connection, start the NM Connection Editor utility. Select the connection you want to edit and click the Edit button. From here, we can update all settings. Let's change the IP address and click Save. Network Manager does not actively monitor connection configuration files. If you make any change in the connection configuration file, you need to force Network Manager to reread the connection file. As we can see here, even though we have updated the configuration file, the interface is still using the old IP address. To force Network Manager to reread the connection configuration file, you can use the NMCLI connection command. We use the down option to deactivate the connection. To activate it again, we use the up option. Now, let's use the IP address show command again to verify the change. As we can see, now the device is using the new configuration.
To delete or remove a connection, start NM Connection Editor. Select the connection you want to delete and click the Delete button. Confirm the delete operation. To verify that the connection has been deleted, we can list all connections again. As we can see here, the connection has been deleted. That's all for this video. In this video, we learned what NM Connection Editor is and how to use it to add new connections and manage existing connections.